Hello, it's Mr. Jonathan here with Virtually BGCMC. In this video, we're going to learn a watercolor technique called pushing, and we're going to practice by painting some rainbow fish. So go ahead, grab your materials, and let's dive in. What you need for this project is a set of watercolors, a pencil, a pen, or just the pen if you don't want to go in with pencil first. Paintbrush, I have a selection here, but I'm probably just gonna work with this flat brush. A container of water and watercolor paper. So this technique is called pushing. And like I said in the intro, it's a wet on wet technique. And what we're gonna do first is because when you work with wet on wet techniques, you wanna make sure that your colors are nice and loose to start off with. Okay, so the colors I'm going to be working with are orange, yellow, and blue. I might even go in with some, a little bit of red, but you'll see what I'm doing is getting the colors nice and loose by adding water to them and tapping the brush into the paint so it starts to break it up a little bit. orange, yellow, blue, and then just in case, I'm going to get this, I'll do this right here. Okay, just loosen it up. There we go, you'll see the brush starting to get loaded and saturated with those, with the watercolors. That's what we call it when uh, you're putting the watercolor, the paint on your brush, we call it loading the brush. So first, Here's how we do the technique, pushing, and it's a way to blend colors. So I'm gonna start on the left side of my paper with the blue, and you wanna make sure you, you use plenty of water because you want these colors to be very wet on the paper. Okay, so I'm putting down my blue, making sure, again, you could see the water. You, you want it plenty wet, but you don't want to have really big puddles you're gonna get big puddles if you use too much water so it's gonna take a lot of practice and experimenting for you to find the touch but once you find it it's gonna get pretty easy now you're gonna see I'm going down with the yellow and as I get closer to the blue once they touch you can see the colors start spreading into each other and that's how they blend if you want to help it go along, you could tap, 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 and blend those colors. Okay, so I'm going to clean my brush off, try to get all that yellow out and blue that got on it from mixing. And then I'll go into the orange here. And again, once these colors meet, you'll see colors start to blend. And that's because the water is uh, dispersing with the paint and mixing those colors, okay? Just gonna help it along a little bit. So that's how we're going to paint these fish. We're gonna get the colors to mix inside. We got this paper here. I'm gonna go ahead and draw some fish. I'm gonna keep it very simple. We want the focus here to be on the watercolor itself, but we still want some nice pictures, so. For this rainbow fish, I'm going to get the shape of the body first, just like that. And then the tail is kind of like a sideways heart shape. We'll keep it nice and simple. Okay. Then you can put some fins on the top. I'll do a small one here, a long one here. Same for this one on the bottom. Okay, I'll divide the head, draw the eyes, and then uh, I'm going to draw the scales. I'm going to make the scales a lot bigger on this one. And there's a trick to the pattern when drawing scales. If you see at the peak of each scale, like at the highest part, that's when you want to start or where you want to start the next layer of scales 
you see how they're always touching? I'll start from here. And then my target is the top, the peak of this scale. Same thing here. And we'll just keep going. Okay, until we get to the end. Here for the fin, if you want to draw some extra texture, you could do that. I think the more detail, the better. Okay, so I got my rainbow fish drawing down. And now I'm gonna go ahead and outline it before I lay down my watercolors. So now that I have my fish outlined, I'm going to go ahead and dive in with the watercolors here. One thing I forgot to mention in the start, if you are using a pen, it might be better to use a Sharpie if you have it, but if you are using a pen or any other kind of marker, make sure that it's waterproof. Because if it's not, once you put the watercolor over, uh, if it's not waterproof, all your lines will start to bleed. So just double check on that. Make sure you got a waterproof pen. If not, you don't even have to use a pen. You could just do it all pencil. Anyways, I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna use the same technique. As you could see, with the water starting to spread, the colors are spreading too. So this would, uh, if this happens on the fish, that's kind of what I'm going for. Hopefully I get something like that. Okay, so loading up with water first. Remember, we wanna use plenty of water so these colors can blend. I'm gonna start from this side. I'll just paint the head. I'll go to about here. You can see that um, I'm trying not to use too much blue to, so the colors aren't too saturated and the lines, uh, if the color's too saturated, the lines might get kind of hard to see. So I'm going a lot lighter on the actual color, going heavier on the water. And then I'm gonna grab some of my yellow. I'm just gonna do a really small strip of yellow for this one. I wanna do a little bit more. There we go. Then I think I will try to get some red in on the very end of the fish here, but I'm gonna go in with some orange first, just so we could get some nice smooth blending. I might need a little more water. You'll notice I'll dip my brush and then I'll tap it on the edge of my jar just to get a little bit of that extra water out. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Now as I get closer to the yellow, when you touch, that's when the colors start to blend. Let's go in here a little bit more. Okay. And 
then the final touch with the red. put a little bit too much water here so what I'm gonna do is clean my brush dry it off first now with a dry brush you'll be able to pick up some of that water and color just so you could take those puddles out that I was talking about if you do get puddles this is one way to pull them out So you can see as I'm tapping out some of this red, the color starts to lighten up and you can see the outlines a little bit more clearly. And look at that smooth transition we got going there. Looking pretty good. So there you go. That is the wet on wet push technique where you can blend colors and it works perfectly if you want to paint some rainbow fish. So try it out. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you have a good time watching the video and we will catch you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye.